Hey everybody, it's Party Lead here with another episode of Total Breakdown, with another battle from the Slan Slam tournament a couple weeks ago, in which Slade X takes his greenskins to the field against the Warriors of Chaos, led by Zeus. If you're interested in partaking in some competitive play, make sure you follow the Discord link in the description down below. We begin of course with talk of composition and deployment, and both sides keep things relatively simple this go-around. So let's start with the greenskins over here. As like the slaughterer is in charge on foot, and his front line consists of these three units of black orcs. On either flank, we have these goblins, and then just offset to the left over here, we have the eight peak loonies, as well as this giant. Behind the front line, we have these nasty skulkers, and on either flank behind them, we have the goblin archers and the rusty errors. While all the way at the back, we have the broken tusks mob, and these guys are armor-piercing and anti-large, as well as this unit of forest goblin spider riders that can cause some poisonous damage. And up front, you can see Vanguard deployed. We have two units of forest goblin spider riders, as well as Maghreb's mangy marauders, already firing away. The warriors of chaos are led by none other than Kolek Sun Eater, and he's brought with him a Chaos Sorcerer of Death. His front line consists of these four units of Chaos Warriors with great weapons, and right behind them, a pair of aspiring champions. We also have four units of Chaos Trolls, maybe hoping to take advantage of potential uh, damage to enemy morale, as Greenskins can have some pretty low morale at times. And over here, you can see up front, a pair of Marauder Horsemen on either flank as well, already exchanging fire with the Greenskin units. So let's take a look at how this all breaks down. As you can see, there's some early aggression, of course, and the Forest Goblin Spider Riders are taking a fair bit of a beating. These Marauder Horsemen are being rather aggressive, and over here as well, these guys are pushing forward, hoping to get some damage in nice and early. Not a bad call at all. Forest Goblin Spider Riders can be quite dangerous if they come in from the flank. They can cause a lot of attribute damage with poison, and you can see already they've lost about 25% of their health, and these guys are now peeling up, hoping to, I guess, protect this flank, make sure these guys aren't able to push in aggressively and get rear charges, and at the same time, you can see the rest of the Greenskin army is pushing forward, and so too are the Warriors of Chaos. And now you can see, again, just peeling back into safety as these Forest Goblin Spider Riders get relatively aggressive actually and Magrub's Manji Marauders as well hoping to fire away but you can see again these Forest Goblin Spider Riders on both sides over here just pushing in and of course the Marauder Horsemen are able to peel back and fire away as they do so but a little bit of misfortune over here as the Forest Goblin Spider Riders get caught in by these Chaos Trolls so they will take a lot of morale damage as you can see but almost immediately they pull away into safety and the uh, Marauder Horsemen back here though you can see take advantage of this situation take a look at this beautiful uh, decision here beautiful timing here as they just charge right in in the hopes of devastating the will to fight of these Forest Goblin Spider Riders so beautifully done they charge them from the side. They don't do too much physical damage, but the morale drops more or less instantaneously. These guys are wavering. And over here as well, you can see we've got these Marauder Horsemen able to charge in and drop the health and morale of these Forest Goblin Spider Riders back there as well. So beautifully done by those ranged cavalry units diving into melee to scare off some threatening units. And up front, you can see we have the front lines about to engage as well. To the left flank, these Chaos Warriors with great weapons are diving into the eight peak loonies in the center as well. We're going to have some massive engagements as these Chaos Trolls try to push through as well. And you can see over here, the Rusty Errors as well as the Goblin Archers are firing away. Wa comes in from Azag the Slaughter, but he does get hit by Spear Leech, which is a dangerous situation for him to be in. And Kolik back there as well is trying to push in. So both sides working to try and break the other side's center over here. So great job. Wa is going to do a lot of work, but in comes Kolik and he's going to provide a lot of support support to the Warriors of Chaos back here. Meanwhile, you can see the Forest Goblin Spider Riders have all but given up on the fight. One unit has routed, the other one has been completely devastated, and now these Marauder Horsemen are able to fire away into the frontline engagements. And you can see over here, these Chaos Warriors do get hit by the fate of Yuna. Great call there. Again, just trying to break through that center. You can see these trolls as well giving up on the fight. They have very low morale, so they do want to give up quite readily. And as they pull back over here, you can see these Marauder Horsemen are pushing through, trying to chase away these Maghreb's Mangy Marauders and scare off some of that range support. And at the same time, take a look at that center. It has absolutely fallen apart. We've got Chaos Warriors giving up on the fight. We've got Chaos Trolls giving up on the fight. And on the right over here as well, we've got these Goblins now pushing in for a nice flanking opportunity perhaps, or to close down some these Chaos Trolls and make sure they don't actually return to the fight. And at the same time, in the center, you can see Azak the Slaughterer has taken quite the beating. He's about to get hit by Spirit Leech once more. That's a terrible situation for him to be in, while Kolek as well in a terrible situation as the Rusty Errors as well as the Goblin Archers focus down on Kolek and cause a tremendous amount of damage. Meanwhile, back here, you can see we already have some shatters going down as these Chaos Warriors give up on the fight, but Kolek is able to push through and cause a fair bit of hurt to the Rusty Errors over here. A couple swings will do a lot of work, but just behind him, not only do we have the Giant giving chase, but we also have Broken Tusk Smob trying to close the gap there. Again, they're armor piercing, they're anti-large, they can cause a lot of trouble for Kolek, and you can see he is not enjoying his current engagement. He is losing the engagement, his morale is very low, and his health already at about 50%. And again, over here to the left, you can see we do have the Chaos Trolls trying to close the gap and push into these goblins and take care of some of these units, while Azag the Slaughterer just barely holding on to life over there. Kolek as well trying to disengage, pull away from the giant and some of that range support so he can try and survive, maybe try and come around 
pull in a charge on some of these other units while back here you can see these marauder horsemen continue to fire away at some of these goblin archers hoping to get rid of that threat from range and at the same time as like the slaughter in a terrible situation as the marauder horsemen fire away at him and his health is at just about 25 percent left if he gets hit by another Spirit Leech, he will be in a terrible situation. Over here as well, you can see the 8 peak loonies have more or less been taken care of while back here. The Goblin Archers are firing away at the Marauder Horsemen, so they decide to respond with a beautiful charge here. Great call. Take a look at the amount of damage being done over here. Not just to health, but also to morale. These Goblin Archers are not built to fight, of course, so as those charges come in, their morale is going to drop rather significantly, and they might give up on the fight more or less instantaneously over here. Meanwhile, Kolik is able to push around while these Chaos Trolls are being pushed in to actually scare off some of these Broken Tusks mob, get them to pull away as an interception would just hold them in place and Kolik is now able to look for another place to get engaged instead. Back here you can see these Goblin Archers very quickly falling apart while Azag once more hit by Spirit Leech. Very low on health there. He has to pull away into safety lest he get charged down. And back here as well you can see Broken Tusk Mob pulling away as the Chaos Trolls are looking for an opportunity to get engaged. They turn around and push into the Rusty Airs. Great call over there. Just trying to eliminate all of that range support and more specifically in the case of the Rusty Errors, try to eliminate the armor sundering capability because with the Warriors of Chaos, armor is crucial and the Rusty Errors are slowly chipping away at that defensive property. Up front over here though, you can see the right flank is being won by the Greenskins. The Giant is getting a lot of work done, both in terms of morale and in terms of health damage. Over here, Kolik gets hit by Spirit Leech, so great use of Spirit Leech from both sides this battle, but you can see Azag is in a terrible spot and he's now being chased down by Kolik, so it's not going to work out well for him. In comes some fire from the Marauder Horseman as well. Wah is popped hoping to get some last minute assistance into some of the uh, troops i suppose but kolik comes in causes terror causes a tremendous amount of damage azag is not going to have a good time he has one hit point right now and that one hit point is about to just drop off and down goes azag the slaughter and that is terrible of course for the greenskins you can see we have a route over here we've got some of these guys being terrified over here as well these forest goblin spider riders are completely giving up on the fight while up front in the center over here you can see we've got the giant pushing in alongside some of these black orcs to give chase to kolik sun eater and maybe cause some damage to enemy leadership as well. Call it quite wisely, pulling away into safety. Broken Tusk Mob over here as well. Of course, anti-large armor piercing are able to give chase and cause some hurt, while now the uh, Broken Tusk Mob actually do get hit by Spirit Leech. A bit of a bad call there. Would be much better to hit them with the fate of Buna. Not sure what the thinking was. The ideal target for a Spirit Leech now would probably be the giant it would cause a decent amount of damage to the giant so might have been a misclick there might be some logic behind that that i'm just not seeing but spirit leech is usually reserved for single entity units and at the same time you can see kolik is trying to pull away into safety but broken tusk mob does decide to route so perhaps that worked out for the benefit of the warriors of chaos after all the chaos trolls are trying to get some damage and try to scare these guys off and maybe finish them off once and for all but in comes the giant trying to get some damage in of his own and you can see the chaos trolls get terrified themselves in comes a great beating from the club and kolik as well decides to turn back around and get involved once more. He dives in, pushes in, tries to push this advantage, and hopes to, I think, destroy that giant. The giant is a very threatening unit for the Warriors of Chaos. You can see he's getting quite a bit of damage in. It is armor piercing as well, and again, that's the strength of the Warriors of Chaos, so armor piercing damage is going to punch right through that back here. Meanwhile, you can see the Rusty Arrows are being completely taken care of while off in the distance over here as well. These Forest Goblin Spider Riders just barely recovering and willing to fight once more. Same goes for these nasty Skulkers now able to push back in and get involved. And you can see over here now the giant has been hit by Spirit Legion. Take a look at its health drop wonderfully done there again that's the ideal target health is now at about 50 percent he is fully surrounded as well the giant so taking a fair bit of damage while over here we've got these chaos warriors as well as these chaos trolls pushing in for that full surround again just i think hoping to eliminate the threat of the giant because it is quite the scary unit off in the distance here as well we have these marauder horsemen firing away while now we've got the nasty skulkers diving in they do have their uh opportunistic murderer I believe it's called the it allows them to get some extra damage in as they charge in and as long as they're in melee and they're winning their melee situations they will be recharging that ability so using that to their advantage Kolik decides to dive in eats a couple of shots and then pulls away tries to pull away into safety great hit by the giant there but Kolik is of course able to get away if he so chooses the giant is causing a lot of trouble and Kolik you can see now turns around and gives chase to Magrib's main marauders they also fire armor piercing shots so they are quite the threat Kolik has taken a lot of damage he barely has 25% of his health left but of course he's able to close the gap here and as he does so take a look at the situation for the warriors of chaos their troops are largely surrendering we have some chaos trolls deciding to return to the fray but their center or what's left of what used to be their front line is shattering or routing completely giving up Kolik over here manages to dive into some of these goblin archers and gets the uh, goblin archers here terrified they are routing might as well finish them off if the opportunity presents itself and back here these marauder horsemen trying to close the gap 
two Magrub's Mangy Marauders, but unfortunately they are made to shatter a couple of good shots there, but now the Magrub's Mangy Marauders are out of ammunition, so well used there as Shaft, I suppose, but now these guys have shattered and they can't be used for any multiple charges or rear charges or flanking opportunities either, while Kolik here is getting surrounded. In comes the Giant once more. Great job there using the Giant, staying on Kolik, and Kolik tries to get away. He is very fast, gets a nice charge into these Magrub's Mangy Marauders, I think hoping to scare them off, maybe cause a mass route on the other side of the field, but the Giant is able to close the gap. Kolik once more has to push away now, dives into these Black Orcs over here again, just trying to damage as many troops as possible while trying to maintain a distance from this heroic giant that is giving chase to this Dragon Ogre Shaggoth, hoping to eliminate Kolik Sun Eater, and Kolik Sun Eater here trying to take a curved path as he's trying to close the gap to some other units back here. You can see Magrub's Mangy Marauders give up on the fight as these aspiring champions beat away at Magrub's Mangy Marauders as well as these Black Orcs, but the Black Orcs are having an absolute field day. In comes Kolik though to change the script there. A nice hit. These Black Orcs are not going to enjoy that rear charge. They're being tossed around. A great deal of blood is being spilled. So uh, the Black Orcs are more or less about to give up. In comes a charge from the Forest Goblin Spider Riders, though. They decide to get terrified instead and pull off to safety while the Black Orcs do begin to route over here though we've got these marauder horsemen again looking for an opportunity to get engaged these guys are still able to fire away get some damage done especially to that giant that ever threatening giant off in the distance as well you can see these marauder horsemen are pushing in looking for an opportunity to get involved while Kolik sun eater i think sees a chance to dive into some of these black orcs and maybe get a little bit of damage done of his own great hit over there breaking some of these black orcs splitting them in twain in some cases this one guy's like body and legs are absolutely split apart great job there again dropping the morale of the black orcs their health is already extremely low trying to get these guys to waver and ultimately route in comes a charge as well from the marauder horseman to close the deal over there and these chaos trolls as well willing to fight once more again Chaos Trolls, Trolls of all kind, very long leadership, so they continue to route and rally over and over again. Great management of these Trolls, and you can see the Giant now has to pick and choose his engagements. These Marauder Horsemen have now run out of their ammunition as well. We've got a couple of rallying Greenskin units willing to dive in once more, and the Giant giving chase seemingly to these Chaos Trolls, hoping to again scare these guys off. If they route enough times, they will completely shatter, of course. They turn around and try to get a charge in on the Giant instead, and Kolik as well, looking for the opportunity to maybe charge in, decides to dive in there. These Forest Goblin Spider Riders push in, they've got their poison and damage active of course and the giant just getting a significant amount of hurt into Kolik. He is so low on health right now. In come the Marauder Horseman hoping to take advantage of this pressure. You can see the Forest Goblin Spider Riders completely shatter and give up on the fight. Kolik now at 547 hit points. You can barely see his health on the health bar. Decides to pull away into safety. Great call over there as these Marauder Horsemen and the aspiring champions just push in on the giant. And the giant is not enjoying his engagement right now but he's able to get a lot of damage out both to health and to morale. He causes fear and terror but you can see his health is dropping significantly. His morale is dropping significantly as well. He needs to pull away into safety. Kolik as well looking to get involved, but you can see he is wavering, decides to charge in, gets the morale boost from charging in, but doesn't get a clean charge, doesn't get the hit in there. Marauder Horsemen are diving in, more of them just piling in. We've got these Chaos Warriors with great weapons pushing in as well, and Kolik again decides to pull back into safety. 493 hit points. He needs to stay safe, but you can see we've got some of these aspiring champions being terrified off, completely shattered. These guys as well completely shattered before they even were able to engage that giant, the Marauder Horsemen terrified these aspiring champions terrified chaos trolls terrified nobody wants to stick around and fight now these nasty skulkers out of nowhere seemingly decide to get involved as well and they can cause a fair bit of damage too if uh, push comes to shove they get engaged by these marauder horsemen or rather with these marauder horsemen and they can eliminate this unit and create a further precarious situation for the Warriors of Chaos. So great use of the Nasty Skulkers. They were off gallivanting somewhere, chasing after various units. They ultimately came back in time, and of course, because they were able to stalk, the Warriors of Chaos weren't able to pick them apart when they were separate and isolated. Unfortunately, now, though, they are getting charged by these Marauder Horsemen, but in comes the Giant getting a nice beating in there, forcing the Marauder Horsemen to pull back. These guys come in for their own cycle charge, doing a fair bit of damage to those Nasty Skulkers, tossing them back and around, and ultimately, these Nasty Skulkers are now wavering and will probably give up on the fight. They're not really willing to stick around after all of that cycle charging, and you can see off in the distance, Kolik Sun Eater also wavering, not really willing to stick around and fight these shattered units giving up. We've got this Marauder Horseman unit as well, completely routed right at the edge of the field. They probably will not be returning. In comes another charge from these Marauder Horsemen into the Nasty Skulkers again, hoping to completely eliminate this unit, get them to completely route. There's the route over there, and over here, unfortunately, these Chaos Trolls are made to shatter. So down go the Trolls, and you can see the Giant here, though very low on health, is willing to fight. The morale is back up to about 50%, and the Warriors of Chaos have to be very careful about how they decide to engage the Giant. Now, off in the distance, you can see Kolik here has given up on the fight. He is completely shattered. So it's up to these aspiring champions, these Marauder Horsemen, and these Chaos Warriors to shut down the Giant 
and these nasty skulkers. And these nasty skulkers are the first to get the pain delivered to them. In come the Marauder Horsemen, a beautiful charge over here, just tossing these guys back, finding them isolated, seeing that there's a decent enough gap from the giant that they might be able to engage and scare these guys off before that giant is able to respond. So great work there, throwing these guys back, doing a lot of damage there. And you can see more or less instantaneously getting these nasty skulkers to route. So beautifully done there. Great timing, great eye, great positioning. And over here now you can see the giant is pushing in himself, trying to beat down some of these Chaos Warriors with great weapons. Great first strike there, exploding some of these units. And these Chaos Warriors are doing their best to get some damage in the aspiring champions as well over here. You can see trying to close the gap. One of them will be a champion perhaps, cutting down the giant. Very low on health, this giant. Very low on morale as well. In come the aspiring champions, but they do get terrified right away. Not today, says the giant. A Pyrrhic victory for the Greenskins. A great back and forth on the battlefield with morale shifts constantly changing the tide of battle. Despite the loss of leadership relatively early on, the Greenskins stuck around and put up a great fight. And though the Warriors of Chaos were very well managed, the inability of some of their units to stick and fight due to morale meant they weren't always fighting at full strength. Ultimately, Kolik giving up on the fight did not help the cause of the aspiring champions and Chaos Warriors left to please the gods at the end of the battle. As always, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more Total War content and keep sending in those battle replays. I think it's one of the best ways to learn, and it's always nice to highlight such amazing battles from the community. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield.